So we're here in the Tropic Jungle, looking for the gym leader. Dude went off on a quest on his own, and of course it's up to us to find him to earn our badge. So, um, I think he's probably pretty close, to be honest. The team could use a heal. Um, that could be... I mean, I, let's actually just see kind of how... I feel like he's got to be, like, right here. There's no way this guy ran too damn far. Oh, there's actually a doctor guy. Hello, sir. Well, that is actually prime placement. You don't have to battle this dude. But, um, I mean, he, he does heal us if we beat him, so let's go for it. Are you tired? I will heal your Pokemon if you can beat me. At a cost. So, these guys are like the real MVPs of the Pokemon world. They just be rolling around, healing people stuff. Dr. Freddy here has a Lazloth. Jesus, we hate these things because they're just so bulky. Like, why? Okay, we're gonna hit it with a flamethrower. This lazy boy over here, we do actually get the burn, so that's kind of nice. It does no damage, though. We're ten levels higher than this freaking thing. And it has Sleep Talk. Which means it probably also has rest, and it's going to get rid of that burn. But I guess we'll try to just keep on flamethrowering. Just give me a, a super ultra mega crit or something. My god. Okay, yep, there's the rest. Bruh. We really don't have much for this thing. I mean, we have, um... I guess troll could be useful here. I mean, we have fighting moves on this thing. We're only level 43, though. Kind of scares me. And then this thing does hurt pretty bad. Let's, we should probably just stay in here and continue to huck flamethrowers at this thing. We only have three left, though. Sweet Jesus. Why is this thing so defensive? It's like an Ultra Snorlax. Okay, now it's gonna try to body slam. I don't think it has much to hit Ranja with, so I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna stay in here and keep doing this. It'll probably wake up as soon as it gets to, like, 5 HP, and then use another rest, which I'm gonna be pissed. Don't rest, please. Okay, it just sleep talks again. The bad news is, I don't think this next one even kills it, which we don't even have another flamethrower. So we're gonna hit flame burst and hope for the best here. Come on, crit, please, 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 Jesus. Oh my god, it rested. Why are you like this? Um, so that didn't work out. I, if I had another flamethrower, had a better chance, but of course we are about out of them. Um, you know what, let's try to go into troll. I think this is probably a risky maneuver here. He's probably gonna sleep talk and get body slammed. Don't do it. Yep, there's the sleep talk. Chip away. Okay. Um, so, yep, that about kills us. That was a terrible idea. You know what? Fuck this thing. We are going to go into... We're just going to go into Donut. That's what we did last time. I, I really need a better option for these bulky normal types. Jesus. So, still sleeping away over here like a baby bitch. And I guess we'll just drill run the hell out of you. So, it definitely does more than the special attacks do. Tries to sleep talk, but wakes up. Ha! This thing has, what, sleep talk, rest, chip away, and I think it has body, yep, body slam, okay. Even does a lot of damage, too. These things are absolute units, but we're able to knock it out. Freaking finally. What else you got for me, doctor guy? If you have another one of these, I'm going to be pissed. Ron just trying to learn Destiny Mod, we're going to go ahead and not do that, which it would be kind of funny if that ended up coming in clutch in a Nuzlocke. You're just like, if you know you're going to die... That would be kind of nice, but okay. Next is a Woodbeak. And uh, have we seen Woodbeak before? Why does that not sound familiar? We'll go into Happy for this thing, because obviously some type of birdie boy and Woodbeak. Hey, we have I don't think we've seen one of these. It's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, we'll just give you a quick attack. Might just do it. Why not? Woodbeak. So probably a, a grass flying type, which is kind of cool. But... Down you go, Troll goes to level 44, looking nice. I will heal your Pokemon. Thank you, sir. We really needed that heal. Also, though, the bad news about when you see these doctor guys is that it actually means that there's probably a whole bunch more trainers that we need to battle, because they wouldn't just set this right at the end. But, okay. Um, we're going to continue. There is so much, so much more to do here. This is the largest tropical jungle of all time. And another Brachio. Brachio. Bran Branchio? <laughs> I don't know. We run from you, and hello there. I'm an ace trainer. Let me show you my skills. So the ace trainers always have some interesting stuff to show us. Young Aaron here has a hippotone. We have never seen a hippotone. What in the fuck? Okay, uh, you're probably a water type, I'm gonna assume. I have no idea though. Hip hippotone? Hip hip hop anonymous? Hippopotamus? Oh shit, it has ice fang. What? I did not expect an Ice Fang. Well, okay, that doesn't do very much. Plus, now we can just crunch. And we'll also get some health back. Easy to hit KO. Get that defense drop that does not matter at all. And Bloodthirst is going to help us out there a little bit. So, 
Why do you get ice ice fang? You're not an ice type. That's also um, I, feel, I feel like other hippos get ice fang. Hippopotus and um, Hippowdon get ice fang too, right? What, what's up? What is up with that? Why do they have icy teeth? Next is a Groilla. A what? We're gonna stay in here. Gro it sounds like a grass. Okay, no gorilla. We have we have seen this thing. We have definitely seen Groilla. For some reason, I thought that was that was something different. But acrobatics does knock you out because you're a little grass gorilla boy. You probably turn into something cool. Kind of seems like a baby, like green Darmanitan, which is kind of sweet. And since we know that this lad is right here just to heal us for free, we're just gonna head right back. Get Dracula some more health before we shall continue. Just ask me if you need any help. Thanks, buddy. You the best. I'm excited for this gym battle. This guy's probably going to be a little bit difficult, but I think we're mostly we're mostly set up for it. I mean, Ranja can, can handle with her flamethrowers and shit. Call ourselves an item. It's a power herb. Just find some random herbs off the ground, and our 10-year-old ass is going to try to smoke them. Oh, and we got a double battle here. So, um, we'll just go... Let's go Donna and Dracula. Ranja's actually getting a little bit... A little bit on the overleveled side. It's Pokemon Ranger time. Super Pokemon Rangers. These motherfuckers want to be Power Rangers so bad. Okay. Uh, they just got... Holy shit, they have six Pokemon. Why? A Tapire, level 45, and a Groella. 45 as well. So, don't really have to worry too much about these level 45s. Which is great news. Because I manage to kill things way too often. In the acrobatics. You... Should do the trick. Why do y'all have to have six Pokemon? I just want to find the gym leader and beat that ass so I can get my first gym badge in like 10 episodes. It's ridiculous how long they make us wait for another gym badge. Well, that's going to kill the old Tapire. Does Tapire evolve? If it seemed like at level 45, it probably doesn't evolve. But Next is a Brachiodon. We have seen one of these things. And another Lazloth. Jesus, we hate these things. Um, We're going to just... Probably acrobatics the Brachiodon, just to knock you out nice and easy. Should do the trick, but then we're going to need to gang gang up on the, this here Lazloth. Young fat boy with a prominent belly button. And just more body slams. That seems like that would hurt. It does do a decent amount of damage. Next is an Apian. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these fatzos they sent out right here. Just a couple of absolute units out here on the battlefield. Well, we're gonna contil, gonna con contil, continue to knock out the right side Pokemon, so that way it's just kinda us and this here Lazloth. Don't have to worry too much unless it body slam crits Dracula, but I think we're okay. No more body slams, now you're gonna spring spread the love to Donna, that's okay. And for that, you get poison pointed. That's for touching me, you sleepy bitch. One more drill run, it doesn't really matter what else we click here, cause now it's just us versus this other ace trainer. That's the way to do it in double battles. If you can get it to just be 1v2, you're gonna have a good time. Next is a Tiki Tiki. We have not seen a Tiki Tiki either. What? It has drought too. Interesting. Um, always coming out with new mons. Never see the same mon twice around these parts. I mean, you do. Just kidding. But still, like, when is the, are the new Pokemon gonna end? I would really actually. I need to figure out how many new mons there are in this game because. Sweet Jesus. We out here pretty far in the game, still seeing so many new Pokemon. Every new area has a nice grip of them. So we take care of the Power Rangers. And hopefully, um, when we do get to the end here, they hook us up with some way to just like teleport our ass out of here, because it's gonna be quite the journey. We'll cut that down. Because there is TM50 for overheat right here. And that is pretty nice. We could use we could use that on Ranja, I suppose. There is another trainer. Hey, are you searching for the Cascade Waterfalls, too? Um, not really. I'm just looking for the gym leader, but good to know that there is waterfalls around here because we do actually... Oh, and Tiki Tiki. Tiki Tiki Tick. Tiki Tick. <laughs> so that's the evolved form of this thing. And that's actually kind of cool. I like this. I like, the, I like that idea. You would. I, why don't they have a, a Tiki Mon for Alola? You'd think they would. They probably... What is there? Am I just forgetting about the Tiki Pokemon? Next is a Tapire, so Donna just be out here basically just demolishing things with Drill Run. But why are there so many trainers in this forest? How high leveled is this gym leader going to be? What are they preparing me for? For real though, never stood a chance. 
whenever there's an area with this many trainers, you just gotta be worried about what kind of level gap they're setting us up with. And it, it comes to an end here. Hello? Pokemon could, could be in this tree. Maybe a Pokemon could shake it. So we could headbutt that tree. But we don't have headbutt. So what the hell? What's going on here? How do I go up from these people? Seems like that would be a spot for like legendaries or something. Tikiki, get out me way, buddy. He's got a little, he's got a little birthday candle on his head though, so maybe it's his birthday. Happy birthday, friend. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know. What's the deal here? I got to like a dead end. Y'all seen a gym leader? Cause I'm, I'm looking for one. How did I manage to get all the way to the end of this without? Finding where I'm supposed to go. I guess I just go down from where that last trainer was, but I, th I felt like I was working my way up in this damn place. But it's gotta be, we're gonna, supposed to head down, I suppose. Um, yep, we have not gone this way, so I'm just dumb and figured that was kind of like more of a, oh, look at this little guy, Slugger. We have seen you before. But yeah, I thought I was just supposed to keep going up, but you know, I'm, I'm great at these. Finding my way through forests, and that's my main thing. Please, wild Pokemon, you're not making this any easier. Except I do like your little Brachios, though. These things are pretty neat. Damn adorable. I like how there's the... The Tiki guys have drought, which is kind of funny, because it's rainy as hell here. I saw Bailey not too long ago. I wonder what he's doing here. Oh, you don't... Wait. You don't battle? Oh, we can go through here. And here we have the Cascade Waterfall. So, are you the guy? No sign of this mysterious Pokemon. My research has led me here, though. Maybe. Hello? What's up, sir? I'm Bailey. I'm conducting research on a mysterious Pokemon that's said to be hiding here. I'm so intrigued to find out what it is. Maybe you can help me. I was gonna search along the waterfall, but I have no Pokemon which is able to climb those waterfalls. So I have it. I have the thing for my surfboard. Hell yeah. I didn't think I could use it yet. I mean, I guess it makes sense. So we're supposed to check out the old waterfall now. Uh, this is actually a new area, so technically we can catch the first thing we run into. Um, we have so many mons though. There's just so many routes in this game. All right, let's go ahead and climb up that fall. We, there is a hidden item down there to the left. There's actually a bunch of items around here. We're just gonna keep on heading up. Whoa, there is a legendary. Um, so our first encounter here is actually an Angelite, level 40. And I don't really want this thing, to be honest. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, run from your ass, but we see a little, little thingy over there. I'm gonna grab this hidden item first. It is TM58 for Razor Blade. Interesting. We'll take a look at that later. But for now, I need to see what the hell's going on with this here narwhal looking thing. What's up, buddy? So we can just encounter it if it just runs right into us? Wait, what? Crydoro. Crydro? Okay, what is it? Is it the thing that the dragon person was using? So was, this didn't look like what the encounter, like. The overworld sprite was but it is level 45 and this thing seems like it could be pretty damn useful um we should definitely catch it technically as a static encounter we're able to catch this bad boy gonna hit me with an aurora beam so yeah it's it's that ice it's that ice thing interesting well will wisp yeah i'm a fr i'm so afraid to kill you why do i always miss what is going on here please ranja get some damn glasses buddy Okay, we connect, and this thing probably has a difficult catch rate, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Dragon Pulse, that is fine. Um, also, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording real quick, because I need to free some space on my computer before it gets full, and this recording is ruined, so yeah. Okay, we're good. My SSD has been low on storage, and I've been too lazy to manage that, but we're, we're back. All right, um, so at level 45, we could definitely weakness, weaken this thing. We could maybe go into happy and just quick attack it or something. That's probably way to do it. This thing looks like a little shrimp. I expected you to look way more badass. Is this thing a legendary? I didn't even realize. Maybe we'll be able to evolve it and then mega evolve. I have no idea even what's going on here. It's interesting that you just ran into it and then it just started an encounter. I figured it would make a sound or something. Let's just try to throw some balls at this thing to be honest. Because I did put that burn there. I probably shouldn't have even done that because I don't want to kill it. But we're just going to try a premier ball because... I seem to be pretty lucky with Premier Balls. And we do get it, so... We got ourselves a Crydro. Crydro. Cryodro. Why am I so bad at pronouncing this thing's name? Anyway, it is an Ice Dragon. It is adorned with scales of clear crystals on its back. When sunlight shines down, the scales refract the light into many different colors. 
Well, that's pretty damn badass. We're going to give you a nickname. And, uh... Oops, didn't mean to hit that. We're going to name you... Scrimp. Because, why not? And, alright. Put it in box to... Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> he just disappeared. But, uh, hey, buddy, we caught your legendary, I think. We're going to head up this waterfall, though. And there is probably the Mega Stone. Yeah, we got the... So now we have the ability to actually use a Mega, which is awesome. Uh, so let's go back and be like, hey, I found the legendary you were talking about, and I caught it. So, how about that? Anyway, uh, there is actually a whole bunch more items around here, too. So, grab ourselves a big root, because we can. I didn't expect that thing to be legendary. I mean, I figured since the guy Mega evolved, it was probably rather important, but that's pretty sweet. Some more reggae Pokemon in the... Oh, Jesus Christ, a Paradiso. We have seen the pre-evolution of this, but we've never seen a Paradiso. And that thing looks pretty damn cool. But we're going to grab this here Balm Mushroom. Could probably just sell that, I would assume. Maybe it's something different, though. Also, I never even noticed my reflection on the water until now, but cool. All right. So let's hop back on dry land and say, hey, buddy, got your thing. You're back. Did you find something? That was the mysterious Pokemon. Wow. Why an ice-type Pokemon here was here? What was it doing in this wetland? That's so strange. Yeah, you're, you're telling me, pal. Looks like I have more research to do. Thank you for your help. I found some rare flowers here in Cascade Waterfall, too. So I'll take them back to my gym and analyze them. If you want a gym battle, just come to my gym. The big building in Green Pine City. Which it looks like a giant treehouse. See you there. Cool. So, I think there is actually... There was a cave over here. Can I... How do I get how do I get to that though? I guess I have to continue going up waterfalls. Doing some more good old fashioned exploring. I probably should have done that first. I thought maybe wait. <coughs> how do I get how do I get to this? Do I, can I just go through these trees? It'd be real nice if I could just go right on through these trees. But it doesn't seem what the fuck? Can I hop up this damn ledge? Or am I am I not supposed to do this yet? No, there's no way to get over there. Well, I mean, we got the gym leader to go back to his gym, so I guess we've kind of... Mission accomplished here, but... There's gotta, there's gotta be a way to go down that. But... Like, how do I how do I get into this cave? Hello? Also got some swell against hanging out. Please leave me alone. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this cave. Um... Yeah, like, you can't hop down any ledges. We're just gonna keep on using our... Imagine surfing up a waterfall. That shit would be hardcore. So, yeah, there's like there's literally no way for us to get up there. So, what we're gonna do then is... Bust open the old key items. And let's, uh... Summon the service whistle. So we can just fly out of here. Rather than having to... Run our asses all the way back. We'll head back to Green Pine, where the gym leader is chilling. And he's going to be analyzing some flowers. So, we can finally take on the gym leader. We can also take a look at that, that icy boy that we got. Level 45 seems pretty damn useful. Might have to grab our scrimp. I know it doesn't evolve into a shrimp. It just looks like a shrimp. And I call him scrimp because of an episode of South Park. And, <laughs> I don't know. Some, a lot of my nicknames are literally just the very first thing I think about stuff. So, that's kind of the way it goes. Anyway, this is our buddy here. And he looks pretty damn badass. Rash nature, clear body. Aurora Beam, Protect, Icy Wind, and Dragon Pulse. We already do have a decent Ice type on our team with Happy. I don't think I'm going to grab it for now. Although it would actually be really helpful for this gym if you don't have anything really like a Fire or Ice type for that. We're going to continue carrying around this egg, which does not seem close to hatching yet. Why does it take so long in these games to hatch eggs? What is going on here? Still going to carry that around because I don't want to get rid of anybody else on the team. So let us head up this way. And oh, something's going down. It's freaking Kira. She's probably going to battle us. Did you find Bailey? Yes. And now you're on your way to battle him? Me too. How about a training battle first? I've been doing a lot of training. After the events in Ancient Pass with Team Solar and Lunar, I think I've become much stronger. Alright, so we get one last little bit of training before the gym. Yeah, I guess that should be pretty helpful. So we got young Kira here. And she's, of course, got six Pokemon. So here she has a Bablis. So this is the, the Ice-type thingy. I'm gonna stone at you. 
I want to call them the Wooloos, but I know that's the, that's not the right thing. Wow, it doesn't even kill it. What? It lived it, and it's able to get off an earthquake. Why do you have earthquake? Jesus, that did a lot. Okay. Well, we're just going to finish you with a poison jab, then. How can this thing see? I feel so bad for animals that have hair over their eyes that can't see a damn thing. Anybody else? Is that just me? All right, Troll's trying to learn Taunt. We're going to go ahead and not learn Taunt, because ain't nobody got time for that. Next is a Ruby Op, so that's the little fighting kangaroo boy. So we're going to go right into young Dracula and suck your blood. This thing probably has a rock move now that I think about it. It's a ground fighting type, so there's a good chance it has stone edge or something, but acrobatics definitely going to knock you out because Dracula is strong as hell. Next is a Cerebus. No idea what the hell that is, so we're just going to stay in. Cere Cerebus? Oh, it's the fucking evolved form of that, um, that cloud. So, I know that these things do have some scary stuff. Did, does this thing have thunder last time, or what? What was it? I guess we're just going to stay in. I think we can take at least one attack from it. It's level 48, so it's a little bit scary. Let's just go for an acrobatics, though. So, it really doesn't look much different than... Okay, it just has Thunderbolt, that's what it is. Jesus, that does a lot, though. But we live in, because Dracula, don't play no games. And we take a nice little bite out of your cloud. Free ice cream. And we get a shit. This thing has a lot of health. My god. Alright, cool. Tons of experience for Troll. Next is a uh, the freaking Pix Lily, man. What? Why do you still have a Pix Lily? Listen, I understand I'm dark type and stuff, but Acrobatics is definitely going to knock this thing out. If it doesn't, I will eat my socks. Okay, for a second there, I thought it was going to stop on like 1 HP. I was prepared to eat my socks. Alright. Next is a horse shush. So we have all sorts of stuff that Ronda or Dracula's good for. Let's just finish this off with Ronda though. Get a little bit of last experience before we absolutely demolish this grass gym. How about that? Flamethrower at four, good measure does a lot of damage, but still level level 47. This thing must be pretty heckin' defensive as it paralyzes us. You dickhead. Oh, is it still raining? I wasn't even paying attention. Freaking synthesis, synthesis? Why? Who let this horse be horse become part of this game? And it lives that. Jesus. Oh, the rain stops now. Oh, it was because of the freaking cloud thingy, right? Please don't get fully parried, Ranja. No full para for you? Yeah. And that'll do it without the rain up. Perfect. Didn't even realize it was raining. Alright, we're flying through here. Next is the Flaro. What? Is that fire thing? We're going into happy. Have we seen Flaro? I don't think we have. Flare. Oh wait, no, fuck yeah we have. It's the starter. It's just we only see these once every... Once in a damn blue moon. So, I mean, it makes sense. But alright. Um, ooh, and it's actually going to mega on us. Level 49? Does this thing have anything for happy? Okay, so it gets a little different colors. Then, cool. Mega Flaro is going to hit us with a flamethrower. So, neutral damage is going to do a buttload. My god. But luckily, Scald knocks you out. Whew. <laughs> that was scary. That Flareo has taken lives before. But, alright. And we've defeated Kiro. I enjoyed it. She's in She enjoys catching these hands. Wow, you are still too strong for me. But don't you think I've become much stronger? Let me heal your Pokemon. So she gives us a nice little heal up right in time for the gym. And, uh, alright. Luckily, we didn't lose anybody there. That could have been bad. Anytime there's a Mega, that shit's scary. Which, also... I would assume the gym leader has some type of mega that we haven't seen before, so that should be fun. What's up, guy? Yo, champ in the making. Gym leader Bailey is a user of grass-type Pokemon. He uses four of them, so you can choose up to four of your Pokemon for this battle as well. It should be obvious, but grass-type Pokemon really hate fire. They're also a huge disadvantage against flying types. No, don't even mention ice types. I should tell you about the gym it's, uh, itself first. It's like a giant treehouse, but be careful. Every l ladder leads you to another room. It's quite confu quite confusing. <laughs> It's a bit, of a, a bit challenging, but just uh, think of it as good training and go for it. I think this could help you succeed. And he does give us a free Hyper Potion, which is nice. We should actually probably go buy some more Hyper Potions now that I think about it. Um, I believe I've, I've been meaning to do that. We Honestly, I'm just going to buy a buttload because we don't want to be left with not enough in this game. Because that sounds... You're going like to have a bad time. Alright. Y'all got potions for me. Some young Hypers. Alright, so we have 15 in the bag, actually. We're probably, we're probably set up. We're just going to get 10 more of those. And then we'll also grab some... Oops, didn't mean to do that. We're also going to get some supers as well, because it's always nice to have some supers around. We have 9 of them already, too. Bugger, we're getting 10 more. 
We stocked up. We are ready for the damn Pokey Apocalypse out here. We're like doomsday preppers, but in the Pokemon world, so we just buy out all the potions. But alrighty then. So I guess we'll head back to the gym and see what is popping. But we are gonna do that next time because it's probably gonna take us a while, and this should be exciting. What do you think, Donna? She must be holding something. And yeah, it's a super potion. Nice. I just, you just did you steal that from the Mart, buddy? Good work. Donna loves me. Loves traveling with Hayden. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time we're going to take on the gym. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. As always, see you next time.